Let's now move on to question two. Question two. We want to see question two. Question two. The sum of one one zero one one base two, one 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 base two, and one zero 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 base two is one zero m one zero n zero base two. Find the values of m and n. Find the values of m and n. So to start this, I want us to write those numbers down this way. One, one, zero, one, one in base two. The other one, 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 and one in base two. The last one, one, zero, 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 and uh, we want to add all this together. Want to add all this together? Want to add all this together? Let's add them together. Now, for easy understanding, I want to break this thing, these things into rows. I want to break them into rows, and then let me use a black pen into columns. That's a column. Another column. Another column. Another column, another column. So we have these columns now. Everything to be added together. To be added together. Let's call this one column. Column A. Let's call this one column B. Let's call this one column C. And call this one column um, D. And call this last one column E. Something like that, column E. And then we add them one by one. Let's start the addition. Let's start the addition. The first uh, thing to be added is in column A. All the numbers in column A, one, one, and zero are to be added. One plus one plus zero. That's in column A. That's for column A. For column A, 1, 1, and 0, and the answer there is going to be 2. Now, in number basis, no digits should be up to the base. So, if a number is in base 2, we don't expect an answer, a, a, a digit in the answer to be up to 2. So, we divide by the base. We divide by the base, that gives us 1, and there is a remainder of 1. 1 and the remainder of 1. We're going to this remainder is going to be kept. It's going to be kept. Uh, let me write it more properly. One remaining one. So we're going to write this. You write the remainder while you keep this one. Keep that one. So we are writing this. And we are keeping this. So I will write sorry, two divided by two is one remaining zero remaining zero sorry it's remaining zero it's remaining zero so i'll write that zero i'm going to keep this one i'm going to keep this one so i take this one to column b i will take that one to column b so this one that has been taken to column b with this one and one and zero again let me write it for column b now i have the one that is brought from column a plus 1 plus 1 plus 0 that's going to be equal to 3 and we're going to divide that 3 by the base again what's the base? the base is 2 we're getting 1 remaining 1 when 3 is divided by 2 we get 1 remaining 1 we're going to write this 1 write that 1 write that 1 I want it to be written more properly write this one and we're going to keep this one we're going to keep that one so we write one here then the one that is kept we put it here now in column c this one that is brought from column b will be added to zero will be added to one will be added to zero like this for column c now 
one that is brought from column uh, B plus zero plus one plus zero this is two and that will be two divided by the base again one remaining zero we we'll write this zero we we'll write this zero and we'll keep this one we we'll write that zero and we'll keep one so i'm going to write zero we're keeping one that one that is kept that is this one is going to be taken to column d now I bring it to column D. So this one that is brought from column C, added to this one, added to this one, added to this zero. Let's see in column D now, the one that is brought from column C plus existing one, another existing one, and zero. Everything together is three now. Is three. So we have three divided by two, and the result is one remaining one i will write this remainder i will write the remainder i will write the remainder and i'm going to keep this one i will keep this one i will write this remainder one so let me write it and i'm keeping this one i'm keeping this one i will take it to column e the one that i'm bringing from column d i'll bring it to this column e i'll bring it to this column e now this one that is brought from column D plus the existing one, another existing one, another existing one. Let's add them, add them all together. So for column E now, we're going to be having one that is brought from column D plus one plus one plus one, and that's equal to four. And that's equal to four. Now four divided by the base, which is two. The answer is two. We're going to keep that two remaining zero. So we write this remainder. I will keep this two. We write the remainder. The remainder is zero, and we are keeping two. There is no other column. There is no other column. So the two that we are keeping, we bring it to. Uh, I can decide to create another column in the front there. Can decide to create another column. There's nothing in that column. So the two you are keeping, that two that you are keeping, we can decide to that two that we are keeping, we can decide to okay. Uh say two plus nothing because there's nothing there is two. Let's divide it by the base, which is two. Uh that's one remaining nothing. Write this. Uh, nothing and keep this one so i'll write zero again now i'm keeping one again so i have to create another column that one that i'm keeping plus nothing because there's nothing in the new column created that is one this is not up to two as i can just write the one directly or i say one divided by the base again one divided by the base is equal to nothing remaining that one because two will not go in one so it is nothing remaining one so we are going to have uh, W here. That's we write this one and we keep this zero, nothing. So I write one. Well, I write one there. I write one in that. So I write one in that place. If you compare this to what we have initially, if you compare it to what we are given in the uh, question, that is to this, it is zero n zero one m zero one. That implies that my m is zero and my n is one m is zero m is zero and n is one that's option c that's option c option c 
So the correct answer here is um, option C. Option C is correct. Option C is correct.